Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss an important current affairs. That is, Chile is going to rewrite its constitution. If you see in the news, there was a protest in the Chile about rewriting the constitution. In history, you would have read that so many constitutions have changed in many countries due to political reasons, many politician due to political motives. But this is a new and noble motive by Chile people. They wanted a change. They wanted a change in the constitution because of climate to protect the environment. And also to remove the inequalities which is prevailing in Chile from a long time. Let us know more about Chile. Chile is a Latin American country situated in Pacific Ocean and is surrounded by Peru, Bolivia, Argentina. Its capital is Santiago and it has one of the Atacama Desert and the coastal which makes the temperature very high. And Tucamata is the world largest copper town of Chile. Now if you see the Chile there is a huge inequalities. There was a protest because of this reason. According to OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the 36 members and among them, Chile is having the various income economic uh, income equalities. That is, some are very rich and some are very poor. There was a protest in 2019 which started with the mere 4% hike in metro. There was a demand to decrease the metro fares but slowly it, the demand of people raised and slowly all the people have gathered and around 5% population of the whole Chile they demanded for the change in constitution. They also demanded for the removal of the president and also they wanted a change which which is uh, based on climate change and also which removes and which also helps the people in local decision making which gives them equality. So if you want to know more, you should know the background why the Chile is demanding. In 1970, there was a president, Salvador. In 1970, <coughs> he was a communist. And he did, there was a not so much economic development during this period and the, there was economic crisis. In 1980, there was a group and President Augusto Pinacho came to power and he changed many things. The housing, school and hospitals and even the pensions, they all were privatized and the trade unions were banned excuse me <coughs> and most of them became private and the exemptions tax exemption from local people have also been banned this gave a huge economic inequality among people and there was no much benefit for the lower and middle class people it was believed that there was a dictatorial rule and had and it was kind of a conservative rule where the people had no choice of electing their own president or elect, having much by people of their choices so because of these inequalities their protest started if you see in our provision in the constitution, we have rights about citizens. We have even uh, rights regarding the rules and regulations what are to be followed in the countries. But there are also few legislations if you see in the constitution even to protect the environment. This was taken seriously by Chile and they demanded for this change in the constitution. 
the so they in 2020 october they organized a referendum in that referendum almost 78% of the people approved the rewriting of the constitution and most of the elected citizens elected council of citizens not legislatures they they are in the process of writing the changes whatever they want in the constitution and <clears throat> this is they wanted the democracy they want in this manner they want they want to have the democracy so they are right the elected citizens itself is writing the constitution if you see chile chile is the second largest lithium producer in the whole world after australia it is considered to be having the largest amount of lithium and it is said that lithium is almost used in all the smartphones and gadgets and it is highly impossible to make any gadgets without lithium lithium is lithium ion batteries are one of the source for renewable energy sources as the countries and the whole world is moving towards renewable energy source this is one of the key for development of renewable energy so lithium can make any country rich <coughs> but lithium mining will make the land dry and the water saline if lithium mining is done then it will raise the temperature of the area in the day time as well as the makes the water saline which will make the water unfit for the cultivation and for consumption there are also fears that it will make the nation rich and the poor more poor if there is a if the production of lithium is enhanced then we will have more sources of renewable energy and even the target of net zero of by 2040 by chile would have also been completed but the people did not want it this because they do not want any country which gives only priority to the money but they are worried that they want a change in the constitution where it gives priority to the climate change it is an inspiration that every nation should take that we should take a step and make a policy towards climate change and environment protection has set an example and raised a question over priorities of the world where the world is developing towards material things this is what is all about the chile but there are few challenges also in this especially about chile in if what are the challenges the main challenges is if the new constitution is imposed then there will be hefty royalties and restrictions on mining but it will give lot of impetus on local decision making and also the country will become becomes richer but it will shape the fate of 19 million people who determine the future of lithium this reworking of the constitution will be a reminder to the changing priorities of the world and the main challenges is how the whole world will think of this rewriting the constitution which we are doing for the climate change That's all for today friends if you like it please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you
chief 